Are you ready to pray? Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, O Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We're praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatos, rateka barakatas, rata bataka paskata branda katesh, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. my greatness take away smallness from my destiny paro shabalaka tabakata rakata barakata fraskatesh rapato sobrekata belekata in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray my god something is happening to your spirit man i tell you there is an elevation in the spirit an elevation i'm seeing a ladder this is what I'm seeing, an elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing, changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. 
Joel 2.25 and I will restore to you the years and I will restore to you the years God can restore time did you hear what I said God can restore time I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs those failing body parts you are just 20 30 and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things it's time to be angry God does not just restore time God restores health and vitality Psalm 41 1 to 3 blessed is the man that considered the poor the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble verse 2 the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive he says and he shall be blessed upon the earth he says thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies shout verse 3 together the Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you strengthen you and then settle you say it again make you perfect establish you strengthen you and then settle you say father i decree i declare divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Paris Sabalagadash. Gram Patalaka Barakatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Abrakata Balakata Frescata Balaka. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabakaparos. Rakata braskata vaskabash, Rakata braskata balakos, Rakata branta kapash, Ebrakatos koto prekatelex. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. 
It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent, but it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins, God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at Gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. Because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No. The Bible said, this is the day. Not this is the week. Not this is the month. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that is within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. Give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He saved us. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's got a Joshua 21, 45. Read with me. Ready? One to read. There failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All came to pass. How many? How many? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, I declare a speedy manifestation 
of every prophetic word that is upon my life, open your mouth and cry. I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. I declare, someone pray. I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. Sapakatos, rakata braskata velakatos. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus name in Jesus name my God I'm tempted to give you the next one just endure let me give you the next one ah huh? are you ready for the next one John 14 11 I have to give you the next one this is why you came he said believe me that I am in the father and the father is in me and if that revelation is what cannot make you believe he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit, 15, 16, and that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus, but you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument. You can argue all you can, but not in the presence of results. Hallelujah. What is the prayer? Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. In this season. In this season. Give evidence, give evidence to, my experience. to my Christian experience. Results, results. Genuine, results. genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows, pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live, my living for you. Oh, 
Kabraska Barakatosh, Krataka Barakata Fresca Balakatosh. In Jesus name in Jesus name he said the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity I've seen people who love God they are not lazy but they live their lives begging they never get to a point where they can live a decent life no they beg their wives join them begging their children join them begging their grandchildren join them begging their entire lineage lives by begging shout no way, no way. one more time shout no way. no way whatever you permit whatever you tolerate remains in your life I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders, there must be young men, there must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. Yeah. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus, everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, Father. every curse, every, every enchantment. Every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment, every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health, against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant 
be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus.